Hey, good morning. I'm Scott Anthony with Sugami Rem Sales. This morning we're going to show you our latest and greatest technologies from Sugami. Really exciting is new B-axis live tools for sculpted shapes, milling and drilling. A new Sugami B0385, it's an inch and a half capacity Swiss style gang lathe for your toughest and most aggressive applications. Adaptive control technologies for tool monitoring, for controlling milling and drilling features to maximize effectiveness and reduce lead time and cycle time. Flexibility, convertible machines from Swiss style to chucker, giving you the choice to use non-ground stock and being able to have smaller remnants. Deep hole drilling technologies, allowing you three, four times faster drilling, and then the latest developments in thread whirling. Hi, I'm Ron Gaynor, an engineer with REM Sales, and today we're talking about some of the new advancements in Swiss technology. The new Sagami S207 features a full B-axis live tool attachment. The attachment has 135 degrees of B-axis motion with full point zero zero one degree resolution. Its full four-axis contouring capability allows you to do drilling and milling at any angle on the main spindle or sub-spindle. The back working arm on the S207 also has modular capability. It allows you to go from face drill attachments to static tooling to cross drill attachments. This gives you a lot of flexibility on how you want to produce your part to get the best cycle time. Sagami developed the S207 with a full B axis due to the market need with more parts being uh, very complex. There's a lot of uh, parts that have angular milling and drilling, and these require a lot of setup time with uh, attachments that have to be removed and mechanically set up. The full B axis is programmable, so you can program any angle. Uh, you could do cross drilling as well as face drilling without any setup. REM Sales will introduce the new Sugami B0385 in booth 101 at this year's show. The Sugami B0385 was created to answer the needs of manufacturers for a large capacity gang style Swiss turn. It is ideal for many types of simple and complex parts that may have previously been machined on a turret type Swiss lathe or large fixed headstock lathe. The B0385 standard configuration includes a powerful 15 horsepower 6000 RPM main spindle and five 5,000 RPM live cross tools for the main spindle and five live tool positions for the subspindle. My name is Rob Karen. I'm president of Karen Engineering and I'm here to introduce our TMAC product which is a tool monitoring adaptive control product that's applied to this machine here. Um, the machine's running apart right now. We're demonstrating features like adaptive control. Right now the tool is actually doing an adaptive cut where the system looks at horsepower and tries to maintain a constant horsepower. And in that case, it's always cutting at the optimum feed rate. And we can look at the screen even and see that the feed rate is being changed constantly to accommodate the type of cutting that's going on right now. Our customers today are demanding greater flexibility in their machines. So some of the features are being able to go from Swiss type to non-Swiss type operation. As a Swiss type, the machine is using a rotary guide bushing unit to support the bar stock. In about 15 minutes, an operator can change to non-Swiss type, now using a collet to support the bar stock, eliminating the need for ground bar stock and shorter workpiece lengths. To change over from Swiss type to non-Swiss type, you're going to remove the rotary guide bushing from the machine. The rotary guide bushing is held in place by six socket head cap screws, and it generally has some other components plugged in. After removing that, you will install the chucker kit, which will allow you to bring the headstock up into the machining zone to machine shorter workpieces and get a much shorter remnant. When workpieces are shorter than three or four to one ratio, it's much easier to machine them without a guide bushing. You don't have to use ground bar stock. You're gonna have shorter remnants and you're gonna have tighter concentricities and roundnesses on your part. Hi, I'm Ray Shank with M4 Sciences. And we're here to discuss 
the tribal man, modulated assist machining. We have a unique tool holder that has a piezoelectric motor in it, and it moves the cutter in and out of cut up to a thousand times a second, moving from 10 microns to 100 microns in each stroke. By changing the chip formation from a curly chip to a flat chip, we're able to increase the feed rate. In this particular case, we were able to go from 80 microns per rev to four ten thousandths of an inch per rev, reducing the cycle time from a minute and 46 seconds to 26 seconds. This is a dramatic uh, change in cycle time, and I think you'll find it uh, to be quite radical. Over the past decade, medical screw manufacturers have adopted thread whirling on the CNC Swiss Automatic as the standard for producing difficult thread forms in high-strength exotic alloys. The demand for more efficient processing has led manufacturers of whirling cutters to develop inserts and grades that can run faster and holders with more teeth. Running whirling cutters at higher speeds with more teeth significantly improves the rate of metal removal, which, in turn, decreases the cycle time it takes to produce a bone screw. In order to take advantage of the improved metal removal rates, machine tool builders must provide high power, large, robust whirling attachments. Designers of medical screws understand the advantages of multiple start threads, which has led to the recent surge in interest in the ability to whirl double start threads. In order to whirl a double start thread, the whirling insert needs to be thicker than usual to cover the length of two full thread forms. The whirling head has to be designed not only to accommodate these thicker inserts, but it must also have a greater range of adjustment in order to cover helix angles that can approach 30 degrees. Machines with programmable B axes are only limited by the clearance that can be put into the whirling cutter and aren't constrained by an add-on attachment. Finally, many medical screw manufacturers are using designs which require multiple thread forms within a single screw. It's not unusual to have to whirl two or even three thread forms on the same workpiece. The best way to manufacture screws of this type is by using a turret-style Swiss or one with a programmable B-axis and automatic tool changer. The turret-style Swiss can have several whirling heads mounted on the turret and merely has to index from one head to the next to switch from one thread form to the next. A CNC Swiss with programmable B-axis and an automatic tool changer switches from one thread form to the next by switching tools through the automatic tool changer. It has the added benefit of being able to store all of the tools for every job within the tool carousel, thereby eliminating costly downtime for changeover.